okay so in the last video we discussed about active class coverage and some of its potential uh, problems and how uh, those problems can be overco overcome so there were three possibilities first was that uh, the minor class values uh, do not have to be the same when the active class value changes from true to false or uh, and the second was that the minor class values must uh, remain the same when the active, active class value changes from true to false and the third possibility was that uh, the minor class values must force the predicate uh, to become true or false uh, when it is possible by changing these values so on the basis of these three possibilities there are three uh, logic coverage criteria which we are going to discuss in today's video so the first one is general active class coverage its abbreviation is gac g a c c so what does it say <coughs> so for each uh, predicate in the set of predicates p and each major class c i in the set of classes c p choose uh, choose minor classes cj and j not equal to i means that uh, minor and major class classes uh, minor and major class is not the same so that first thing is that ci determines p means we have to take into consideration consideration those set of values uh, where uh, the major class value is actually affecting the value of the predicate then there are further two requirements uh, tr has two requirements for each major class ci first one is ci evaluates to true and the second one is ci evaluates to false that is <coughs> that is why the major class is called the determining class so the values chosen for the minor classes cj do not need to be the same so here do not means it is not strictly required that the minor classes will have the same values when the major class has the value true and when its value changes from true to false so they can be the same and they can be different so they need to be the same when ci is true as when uh, ci is false so this can be expressed mathematically as uh, given here so the, the this condition has two parts first one is cj and when ci is true then for ci equal to false cj has the same value so this equality here is telling us that the minor classes will have the same value when the major class value changes from true to false so this is one possibility and these this condition is connected with an or to this second part of the condition which says when the major class value changes from true to false as expressed uh, within the parenthesis here ci is equal to true and cj ci is equal to false in that case the minor class values do not are not the same so or the connection with or means they can be the same here and here we are saying they they uh, they do not have to be the same it means there, this is there is no uh, strict compulsion in the case of general active class coverage that the minor classes will have the same value when the major class value changes from true to false they can be the same and they can be different so this seems uh, complicated and it is possible to satisfy gac without satisfying predicate coverage because we are not actually uh, imposing any strict conditions so sometimes it may happen that you achieve gac without uh, fulfilling the predicate coverage so but we really want to cause predicates to be both true and false it means we want to have such kind of criteria where if we achieve uh, uh, some sort of coverage criteria by means of classes we want that it affects the predicates also and they also change values from true to false so next definition is of the restricted active class coverage so the main uh, first four or five lines are the same for each predicate p in the set of predicates p and each major class ci in the set of classes cp in the predicate 
चूज माइनर क्लासेस सी जे सच दैट जे इज नॉट इक्वल टू आई मीनिंग दैट द माइनर क्लास एंड द मेजर क्लास आर नॉट द सेम सो दैट सी आई डिटर्मिन बी इट मीन्स वी हैव टू टेक दोज टपल द रोज इन द ट्रू टेबल विच आर एक्चुअली अफेक्टिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ द क्रेडिटेबल द फर्स्ट रिक्वायरमेंट हैव इज दैट टू दैट द सी आई वैल्यू टू ट्रू एंड द सी आई वैल्यू टू फॉल्स फर्स्ट वी हैव टू टेक दोज सेट ऑफ वैल्यूज वेयर द मेजर क्लास वैल्यू इज चेंजिंग फ्राम ट्रू टू फॉल्स सो द वैल्यूज चोजन फॉर द माइनर क्लास इज सी जे मस्ट बी द सेम सो हेयर इट इज अ वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट कंडीशन दैट द माइनर क्लास वैल्यूज मस्ट बी द सेम वैन सी आई इज ट्रू एंड वैन सी आई इज फॉल्स इट मीन्स दैट वी कैन नॉट चेंज द वैल्यूज ऑफ माइनर क्लासेज वैन द वैल्यू ऑफ द मेजर क्लास इज चेंजिंग फ्राम ट्रू टू फॉल्स एंड द सेम हैज बिन एक्सप्रेस मैथमेटिकली हेयर that ci is equal to true changes to ci equal to false after the equality sign but cj and cj here in both cases must be the same for all cj meaning that the minor class values must not change when uh, the uh, major class value changes from true to false so this has been a common interpretation by avi aviation developers and rack often leads to infeasible test requirements and what do we mean by infeasible test requirements it can give rise to such requirements for which we cannot write actually uh, test cases or which cannot be achieved by uh, any sort of test so <coughs> what do we do then so there is no logical reason for such a restriction so there is no uh, logical footing or logical reason to have these uh, restrictions in place so what do we do then we we give uh, we come up with another coverage criteria which is called the correlated active class coverage or cac it is abbrevi abbreviated as cacc for each again the first four or five lines are the same for each predicate p in the set of predicates p and each major class ci in the set of classes cp choose minor classes cj such that j is not equal to i meaning that the minor, minor and major classes are not the same first condition is uh, that ci determines p and how does it determines it has to fulfill this requirement that ci's values uh, changes to true and it also uh, evaluates to false and the second condition which is more important and which we need to understand is the values chosen for the minor classes cj must cause p to be true for one value of major class C I and false for the other. That is, it is required that P C I equal to true is not equal to P C I equal to false. So we studied in the case of general active class coverage that if we even if we achieve gag sometimes it is possible that we are not uh, we cannot achieve we have not achieved uh, predicate coverage. But here we are uh, making it a part of our condition that when C I's value changes from true to false. what happens is the value of predicate when ci was true is not equal to the value of predicate when ci is equal to false and how we do that if we cannot uh, do this by just changing the value of uh, ci from true to false we can change the values of minor classes in such a way that the predi uh, the value of the whole predicate changes from true from true to false or false to true when ci's value is true and when ci's value is false so let's see uh, how uh, these two interpretations uh, have uh, a different uh, give us a different result and this has been a more recent interpretation for some uh, for in the in the in terms of the logic coverage or active class coverage it implicitly allows minor classes to have different values since we say that we can choose those values which are affecting the values of value of the predicate so it is implicitly implicitly allowing us to have different values for the minor classes but at the same time it explicitly satisfies or subsumes predicate coverage because we choose minor class values in such a way that the value of the predicate is uh, changed when the major class value changes from true to false therefore this is if we achieve cac or correlated active class coverage that will automatically achieve Uh, predicate coverage and we studied this 
kind of relationship that when we achieve one coverage criteria and that results in the satisfaction of another coverage criteria automatically then we say that this uh, kind of relationship is called the subsumes relationship and we say that the criteria which led to the satisfaction of another criteria automatically uh, we say that this criteria subsumes that particular criteria so here we have an example so we have three classes we have this simple predicate a and b or c it means we have these three classes and we have drawn all the possible values in the form of the proof table and now we want to see uh, whether we can achieve uh, uh, restricted active class coverage on this predicate or not so first thing we have to find out if for example a is our major class in that case we will have to first look at a's true value and then we will have to look at a's false value so there are two parts of the true table the first part and the second part so we all a's true values are on the in the top four rows and all four values false values are in the uh, bottom eight, eight, uh, eight four rows so in when for example this part is false so we can discard these why because if this is false or false it means this whole thing will be false <coughs> and then it doesn't matter what value a has in that case uh, it the predicate the whole predicate is always going to be false it doesn't matter whether a is true or false it means in these two rows a's values is not going to affect the predicate and a is not going to be the determining class in that scenario so for other cases for, for, uh, the first three and then 5 6 7 we can think about whether these achieve uh, a restricted active class coverage or not and the condition we uh, just studied was that the minor class values must not change so for that to happen let's see if we have the first row where a's value is true and the predicates value is also true and the minor class value is true and true now <coughs> the first condition was that the major class which we are considering its value must change from true to false now possibility of a being false is here but the second condition is that uh, the minor class values must be the same so in that case we can only consider this couple number five or row number five and we have to see whether a is false here yes it is false here and then we have to see whether the predicates value has changed in this case yes it has changed it has gone from true to false therefore we can write that uh, row combination one and five <coughs> this actually achieves rack uh, when a when we consider a as a major class in the same way you can think about the second row here a is value is true and minor class values are true and false the predicates value is true and we have to think about those, that row where minor class values are true and false so those are here and the first condition we need to check was also that a is value changes from true to false yes it changes from true to false and the predicates value also changes from true to false yes so row 2 and 6 also achieve rack for this predicate then the next thing was to check uh, the third row here is value is true again and the minor class values are false and true and the predicate is true now we have to look for the tuple where minor class values are false and true in the false part so here they have false and true a's value has changed from true to false and the predicate has also changed from true to false therefore we can say that 3 and 7 also achieve rack for this predicate so row 1 5 2 6 3 7 achieve uh, rack for this predicate when a is the major class so this is the first combination this is the second combination and th that was the third combination so only three pairs satisfy rack when a is considered as the major class now we need to think about CAC so let's uh, see 
if a is a major class then so in that case we can uh, play with some values or try values where a can be made true when uh, both are true or one of them is at least true then this part will run true and then in that case it will be <coughs> dependent on a whether it is true or false so cat can be satisfied by choosing any of rows 1 2 and 3 and any of rows 5 6 and 7 a total of 9 pairs because we uh, studied in the definition of cat that we will uh, try those values of minor classes which are causing the predicates value to be uh, true in one case and false in the other case so for example if i pick this tuple then a's value is true and minor class values are true and true and the predicates value is true and if i look in the lower part here a's value is false and the uh, minor class values are true and true so this definitely changes here predicates value is false now we can also look at these values here the minor class values have changed so and major class values has also changed from true to false and the predicates value has also changed from true to false therefore we can also uh, combine row 1 with not only with row 5 we can also combine it with row 6 because it, it, it is allowed in cat that uh, minor class values can be changed provided this affects the value of the predicate what it was in uh, the case when major class value was true so in this case major class value was true and if even if we change the values of minor classes we still get a predicate uh, predicate value false it means we can also try this combination in the same way you can look at the uh, uh, look at row number 7 here again a's value has changed from true to false and predicates value has also changed from uh, true to false and we just can thought about this or discussed about this that we can also try those possible combinations where either b is true or c is true so in this case c is true and there is a condition of or here so we can try false value of b because this will result in uh, this part to be true and it doesn't matter whether uh, the value remains the same or not in the case of cat so here again the value has changed from true true to false true but it serves or fulfills our purpose that uh, a's value has changed from true to false and the predicate has also changed by setting these values to false and true therefore we can also combine row number 1 with row number 7 and same we can do for 2 5 2 6 and 2 7 and again 3 5 3 6 and 3 7 so the active class coverage criteria ensure that major classes do not affect the predicates so we studied about gap there was no strict condition that the minor classes uh, are going to have the same value they may have the same value they may have the different value in the in the case of restricted active class coverage there was a strict condition that when the major class value changes from true to false then in that case we must ensure that the minor class value have the same values in both cases when uh, major class value was true and when major class value changed to false and in the case of cat we allowed to change the minor class values only when it ensured that the predicate value also changes from true to false so that was all for today's video thank you very much and in the next video i will talk about uh, in active class coverage